back when I was with the Warriors, it was the same way. You know, we try to take away all those spectacular plays and try to keep the momentum down to a minimum. But uh, you know, they you know opened the floodgates tonight. Ken, how would you describe what happened out there tonight? Uh, they just played that brand of, brand of basketball. You know. You know, they beat a lot of teams, and not by 50, but, you know, they, they, they beat teams pretty handily when they can get up and down. And, you know, when uh, Blake and DeAndre are uh, um, controlling the boards, you know, they get the easy outlets to Chris, and then they, they, they shot the three tremendously tonight. Uh, we didn't do a good job of running them off the line, which we wanted to do, but, uh, you know, they, they capitalized. Point-wise, this is the worst uh, loss in Lakers history. What does it do to you to know that you were a part of that? Nothing. We got a game tomorrow. We we'll play Denver tomorrow, back to back. Uh, you know what happens? You know, I've been, I mean, I've been beat like this before. It's, it's nothing you can do. You can't, you know. I mean, it's back in grade school. I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's nothing you can do. I mean, it happens. You know, you gotta, you know, take how they come. Uh, very good team. You know, if I mean, it was anybody else, you know, a, a lesser team, then you had the right to be disappointed. But you know, they play their brand of basketball, and they're very good at that. And uh, you know they did what they were supposed to do. And you know, they don't need to feel sorry, no self pity. You know they play, they you know they beat us. It you know it happens. What's the most disappointing part of this? Uh, that we actually could have done better. You know the first quarter was very very encouraging for us, but you know we got away from uh, what Coach Dan Sonny wanted us to do. What he wrote on the board and you know it showed. Uh, you know we played with them. You know for the first 12 minutes and then it, it got ugly real quick. Okay, what changed after the first quarter? Uh, we just went away from you know Coach D'Antoni's principle. You know we was playing, you know, we was getting up and down. We we're moving the ball. You know everybody was getting a touch on the offensive end, and you know the ball kind of got stagnant. We was taking uh, bad shots. They were getting long rebounds, and then it ended up being like alley oops. And you know Blake Griffin taking off from the three-point line almost. Uh, you know that's what they like to do, and they feed off it. The Lakers have had some tough games this year. You haven't been here very long, but this this one just was an absolute runaway. Do you do you look at the tape? Do you think about this game, or do you just forget about it and focus on tomorrow night? I mean, it definitely stings, but you know you can never let them see you sweat. You know, you just got you know bottle it up. You know, with, the, the, with yourself. You know, not getting the road zero. And it's gonna hurt a little bit when you turn the TV on. It's all they're gonna be playing for the next day or two. But you know, we got a game tomorrow. You gotta turn your focus really quick. You know, that's the beat of the NBA. You know, you get to get your face back, as they call it, uh, really quick. So I'm mean, looking forward to tomorrow.